Good morning, art lovers. Today I sold, or this morning I sold one of my dear oil painting portraits. So let's go and pick it up. <laughs> It'll be sad to see it go, like, but it's a sale and it's going to a good home. So it's actually hanging up in the entrance of my door. Fly on it, take them off, put them up there. It's that time of year, guys. The butterflies are all coming into the houses for shelter. There's one up there, and there's a couple up there. But there she is. Her name is Cupcake Jane. I've got loads in there, look. All in there. So this one is called Cupcake Jane. I.E. The Cupcake. <laughs> On her head is a hat. <laughs> so that's going off to a good home. Way down south, down in England. That's where a lot of my oil portrait paintings go. I'm over the moon that that's uh, sold and as I say to you I have loads of others that's some of my work in progress there on my desk so <laughs> I've just no long woke up so I thought I'd let you see that before it's packed and I'm going to take a another good couple of pictures of Cupcake Jane so that I remember her by <laughs> Anyway, next. And it's a sunny morning. It's going to be a sunny day anyway, look, outside. Blue skies and the sun's coming out, so... Anyway, let's go and show you how I wrap up Cupcake Jane or any other portraits that I have. We'll get you on the stand, because I need both hands. to get this adjusted just right. Fidgety. <laughs> Let's take you down. Up. <laughs> Up. It's the tripod legs hitting the door. Right, we'll do it here. Need to turn you around. Oh no. Wait, wait guys to fix this. It's first thing in the morning so you can understand the brain's not active yet. This is one of my workstations. Now, there's Cupcake Jane. <laughs> Ready to make her cupcakes. And that's the certificate that goes with it. So I put that inside there. Next, under here, under here is the cardboard. This is the cardboard I got specially for my box canvases. I'll take one out. What a power. I'm waiting on that uh, uh, Amazon coming in. It's today. I thought it was yesterday, but it's today. Now, that's an old bit of cardboard. Put him over there. And I'll get one of these out. Yeah. 
bought these A3 size cardboards that cost me quite a bit of money, £18 for I think about 10 of them or 15 of them or something like that. Yeah. So, here we go. At last, that's us all set. Put the light on, get some light in here. Now, as I says to you, I bought these cardboard, uh, this cardboard specially for, it's cardboard boxes, they're size A3, to fit A3 size, and uh, I think it was about 15 or 24. It was quite expensive, 18 99 for them, so, but the reason I bought them is because the post office aligns so that uh, it doesn't go above the size to the next price level, which is extremely expensive. It goes from 340 to about 799 or something just with the size of the cardboard box so this cardboard box fits exactly that A3 size they come in the collapsible state as you see so all you do is you build it up but I'll show you that in a minute let's get this Cupcake Jane parceled up ready for our travels this tissue paper it's just to keep the canvas clean while it's in its travels and this is uh, 50 sheets on eBay for I think it was $3.99 They're all different prices, you've got to look through but in all different qualities as well So let's go One sheet's not big enough so That covers the front And one comes the back. As I say, it's just to keep it clean. And it looks better. Got a bit of cell tape on that. Listen guys, once I, I'll get back to you once I sell it at this. That's her all parceled up. Next I've got my stickers that says hand painted with love by Colin. These are on eBay as well and these are $5.99 for a set of 50. Always adds that little bit of personal touch. And on there, I'll just pop up in there, in the middle, makes it look a little better. Right, let's show you how easy this box is in getting assembled. Just a piece of card, but I, I mean I could make them myself, but I don't have time, so it just collapses down. It's all folded ready to, to work. And when you've got not a lot of time, this is ideal that you actually goes into a size A3 box. I don't know why people start humming or singing when they're doing something, I think it's to make them either work quicker or feel better or they must have something. Now yeah, that'll need a, a couple. Let's, let's put Jane in first to her bed. Put Jane in first, and as you can see, she just fits nice. Mm. There you 
talk about. She just fits nicely in there. Got to keep adjusting, <laughs> adjusting this. And that's her. And that's simple. Next. <laughs> yeah, Lynn down, he's getting the camera. Right, guys, that's the parcel all parceled up. And I've also got a watercolour to send, a fox watercolour to send away as well. So that's sold this morning as well. So let's go to the post office. <laughs> Magic. That's me just back from the post office. That was a nice surprise to get this morning anyway. Getting a painting sold. That painting sold for £35. It's £34.99. It's a box canvas, a size A3, and they proven to be quite popular, uh, my box canvases. <laughs> Every now and again I sell ones, which is good. And it's all characters that uh, I see around about my hometown. Talking about my hometown, I'm going to show you some clips just here, after I stop speaking, of why. I get inspiration for my wildlife paintings of birds and animals and fish and whatever. So here's a little clips for you to see why I live in such a beautiful place and why I paint so many paintings and get inspiration. So have a look at this. Beautiful wildflowers, you don't see many of them. And that lovely, what a beautiful. Town I live in, well it's a city, but it's about the size of a town, you know what I mean? So the reason it's a city is because it's got a cathedral and they, they gave the status of a, of a city. So anyway, you can understand why and where I get my ideas and inspirations from. And that's just the town. I can, two minutes and I'm in, into the country just, uh, just from my flat, which is great. And it, as it says, it gives me a lot of inspiration. I've been going out the past week, seeing if I can get any good wildlife shots for the winter time coming in. I like to get fresh photographs and shots, uh, just to spice things up a bit. I've had my breakfast. I've had my usual bacon and tomatoes. Uh, I don't think I. I, I I have that every single morning because I do switch about as <laughs> normal people do because you do get fed up doing the same thing but when you're on your own <laughs> uh, you buy them, you buy the cheapest and you buy them in bulk so <laughs> you're eating it for two and three days in a row uh, before it goes off but I enjoy it I don't waste much but for my dinner today I'm going to have what am I going to have? I think I have uh, I've got those uh, beef burgers, I'm going to, because I had the pasta yesterday, so I'll have those beef burgers, uh, I'll have two, because they're smaller than the other ones, uh, and I'll see what the, the difference is between Marks and Spencer's and Tesco's, so uh, I'll have them tonight with some fries and vegetables, I've got broccoli, I'm going to make a cheese sauce with that, so looking forward to that later on. Now, what am I going to be doing the rest of the day? Because I've done... I said to you yesterday I was going to do a, a lot of lessons, so I've done a few lessons today. I've still got some more to do later on. 
but I'm going to have a, a wee break and go into the countryside for a bit of exercise, get some, get some uh, walking done, try and get rid of this uh, gut, this belly a bit. And the weather, as I said earlier on, it's a beautiful day. There's a slight breeze, so I'm going to love that. I won't be putting too many uh, coats or jumpers or whatever on. It'll just be this shirt, and I'll just take my rain mat with me. Have a wee nice walk into the country, see if I can see my deer, or see if I can see anything. I've, there's, uh, I've got tree creepers up there, I've got uh, red squirrels, I've got kingfishers on the river, I have woodpeckers. I've got two different types types of woodpeckers up there. I've got the the green ones and I've got the lesser spotted, which is the black and white ones. So they're up there and the, as I say the tree creepers. Uh, I haven't managed to capture the tree creepers in great detail in film, but I will one day. It always comes, it always comes to you. I just sit at a spot and just wait and they come to me, so hoping to see uh, any of these or anything this, this afternoon. Uh, what am I doing later? Later? Oh, we're going to be editing this this uh, film that I'm may, making just now. I thought I, I had another one planned. I had uh, the... I've got a big Tudor painting, as you know, the Queen Elizabeth, so I was going to be doing that vlog because I've got a lot of film in me painting that and getting it up to scratch because uh, that's a long-term project, uh, Queen Elizabeth. It's a giant <laughs> canvas. Uh, I'm going to try and frame that with myself as well, but I'm going to try and get that edited later as well. So it was supposed to be, that was supposed to be the next one here, but because I sold that painting, I've done that one, I've done this one for you, <laughs> just to let you see uh, that I do. Uh, have some good sales on my paintings and whatever and the link is in the description box or in the channel description box in my profile there's a there's a link to my eBay shop if you want to have a wee browse through there and just have a look and see what I, what wares I I have. Uh, I can't complain though I, I sell I sell my paintings and whatever quite constant. I'm looking at my, my friend Mr Crow, <laughs> he's on the gutter again, the one that you seen the other day, he always goes in the gutter and he gets a drink, uh, that time you seen him, <laughs> it, was, it was just lovely, I seen him coming in with that big bread roll and he was soaking it in the, the drain pipe because it was uh, probably a bit stale, it was softer, you see, if you soak it in the, uh, it's easier for them to eat. You hear him? <laughs> he knows I'm here, he, he always looks at it. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll cut it off here now because I've got things to do and I'm going to get out for a bit of exercise as well. So, till the next vlog, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> There's that button there.